of us recognize Mother's Day every year on the second Sunday in May. But did you know that the pet community celebrates the second Saturday in May as Dog Mom Day. That's right. Being a dog mom is an unconditional loving commitment. And joining us now is registered dental hygienist and dog mom Anastasia Turchetta. Welcome back to Bloom, Anastasia. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited that like this is actually a national day since I think 2018. Uh, I'm I like, love it's about this. time. Finally, why didn't somebody <laughs> think of this earlier? So what are some good um, mom day gift ideas? I've got five of them for you. The first one, I think is something we don't think about and it's a certificate for dog grooming because that's an ah, expense so I know like we have a husky and he doesn't go as often as maybe marble might go because right. of their fur but I mean he does shed a lot so a dog grooming certificate would be one and the next two I'm going to mention are basically we're going to support local business and independent businesses here in the Tampa Bay St. Petersburg area second one is one of my favorites it's doggy daycare certificates Ooh, that's so a good you can one. purchase either um, I have some pictures of Gibbs going into the water park there he is <laughs> he's playing with his friends so you can either purchase a half a day a full day a package there's also water park purchases that you can have and they have events I've had Gibbs um, birthday parties at these different daycares and I'll tell you you can drop your dog off at 7 a.m. and then you don't have to pick them up until 7 p.m. Gail does he it's miss not you? just doggy day it is mommy daycare yeah, day I mean I this like is just, it's amazing and he has fun because a lot of times I'm so afraid to leave Marble for extended period of time but I feel like she had other other dogs to hang out with it would be awesome exactly truth be told I have to tell you I feel kind of bad because he gets so excited when we pull in the parking lot dogs are social so this is like his social hour and then when he gets home he's exhausted which makes mama happy too that's <laughs> awesome so how did you come up with these ideas I was looking around once I saw like there was a trending I like to look and follow what's trending and right. I'm like oh my goodness what would be something cool I wouldn't think about giving to myself and the second thing is would be like a membership so I went around and I thought what are different sites that have memberships and this particular video is showing Gibbs um, I'm at a dog bar and now I mean you, you look at it and he's playing with other dogs you do <laughs> have to be there that is a leash off uh. zone but I'll tell you it's a five day five dollar a day day pass or fifty dollars per year and again this is free and go and do a couple hours of work you can have your lunch up there the dog is playing and running around they're exhausted they're, they're social you can also have events up here and it also supports the community so these are Aww. membership things that you don't and for five dollars for a day pass that's like a Starbucks that's awesome you isn't can't it cute beat that so why do you feel it's so important to receive gifts as being a dog mom which you and I both are <laughs> I feel it's important because just like you said at the top of the segment we have commitments that we make to our dogs and they're structured we take that they have to have a schedule they have to be fed it is almost like a child there's dog training you become very attached and emotional dogs get back to us we release a chemical called oxytocin which makes us really happy and I think when you do this it would be like you would for a mom who has a child or a teenager or someone graduating from college it's kind of the same thing when we love our fur babies and I, I think it's probably a good Good idea to celebrate these days separately because oftentimes my daughters yes. get very jealous of the attention that Marble, I can understand that <laughs> yeah they're like wait a minute what about us right Marble's so, getting all this stuff you know <laughs> so, so we got to separate those two days but this is a really this is so fantastic and to your point you know being a dog mom it is a commitment like you say and these are gifts that benefit the dog and like you say benefit the mom absolutely absolutely you can look forward to either other things and just like check out what's in your community from either a dog photographer an artist we have lots of that going on to personalized scented candles my only thing for scented candles is make sure even if you have cats and dogs cats don't like citrus they don't like mint or cinnamon scents hmm. and dogs usually don't like citrus or herb and spice scents if you're looking at wicks make sure the wick is cotton it is lead free who knew and then finally for the wax make sure you go for a soy wax or a beeswax candle that's in your best interest for you and your pet who knew that dog had you know candle preferences I know that's that's and I do need to say at some of these locations that you took that cool video for us you know a lot of times a lot of the shelters will bring dogs out or volunteers will bring dogs that are up for adoption to those locations yes. so other people can meet them and it's kind of a cool area to do that as well I know it's like a real community that you can meet other dog lovers and you know in many cases 
support you know pets that need to be adopted absolutely right. absolutely that was a good yes i it's yeah. amazing to see how much give back there is in the community it's incredible anastasia thank you so much for sharing all of these great tips with us and if you want more information you can visit www.anastasiaturchetta.com and we're gonna be back with more bloom right after this stick around mm -hmm.